Sacred Journey of the Heart is a film about transformation. Transformation on a personal level, on a group level, and on a global level. The transformation that I personally went through can be seen on video by comparing the first edits of our film to the final version that you see in the movie. We began filming in June of 2009 in Glastonbury on a trip that was all about taking people into sacred sites to give them the opportunity to experience transformation away from the ordinary routine. They say that a picture speaks a thousand words, so what you're seeing here in this video is an early version of me talking about the making of the film in Glastonbury. You can see that in this part of the process, two months after the trip was ended, I really was very afraid to be in front of the camera. I didn't know that until the video clips started coming back. And the camera doesn't lie. And that's absolutely true. The camera does not lie. I was talking about the process of healing and transformation, connection and love. And you can see how terrified I look just to be in front of the camera with the lights on and the film rolling. Initially in this process, I had no intention of sharing my personal story in the film. I was going to be a spiritual teacher that talked about interesting processes of healing and transformation that I had learned. And I had no intention of sharing my childhood past of sexual and emotional abuse. But when it became so evident that I looked very terrified in front of the camera, we knew that I needed to do some work and to be willing to be authentic and share my story in the film. About late 2010, I was introduced to Colin Tipping and Radical Forgiveness and immediately knew that this was a place that could help me go into my heart. You can see even side-by-side -side comparisons of me early on in the filming process and the Polaroid pictures of myself as a child. Very similar facial features, kind of a eyes glaze over my face, very frozen. So I embraced the process of radical forgiveness and became a certified RF coach. And I learned also, going deeper and deeper into my heart, how to heal my body. I learned that I had been under chronic stress for decades and really did not know how to get myself into a calm and smooth a state of what I now know as heart coherence. I kept going deeper into my heart and made a commitment throughout all of 2011 to feel the feelings that have been stuck inside. By November 2011, we decided it was time to reshoot every single one of my scenes to show who I am now, where I could be in front of the camera and be animated and be alive and be comfortable instead of absent and shut down and afraid as I had done two years prior. So the clip of what you're seeing now is what ended up in the film, the me now, the after, present and comfortable in my body. I'm telling the same story of the past from the perspective of having truly and fully healed my heart in the present. So this is what I'm excited to share with the viewing audience. When you feel these feelings, you literally heal and your entire being changes. Your energy, your heart, your confidence, and your sense of being okay, just as you are. My own teaching of modern mastery is to encourage people to dive into the heart, to tune in what's there, and then coming through that to lighten up, not only to accept your past, but to deeply appreciate it and then create a whole new set of possibilities. I hope this helps you understand a little bit more about the making of the film and one way of living the path of heart-centered transformation.